Flipping the light block, pick this up and make it disappear. What happened? What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 15 easy magic tricks that you can do at home. If you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go! So we've got a candle in the glass jar right here. Check this out. Fill the jar with water and the candle magically stays lit underwater. Want to know the secret? Here's how it's done. The candle is simply behind the jar. A perfect optical illusion. All right, we're gonna play a little prank on Veronica. So I got a balloon here. Check this out. what you need to set this up. You're gonna take a balloon and tape it to the wall. Take some tape, double it over, take the balloon and just stick it to the wall right behind the door, just like this. Your next step is to take a thumbtack and position it on the door with some tape. You want this to line up so that when the door opens like this, the thumbtack contacts the balloon like right there and pops it. But once you have this set up, you're good to go. Just leave it in place, wait for someone to open the door, the thumbtack will come right over pop the balloon. Check this out, I've got a whole stack of styrofoam cups here, and I've got a dish on the table. Watch, if I just take the cups, let's put them down in the dish. And just like that, the cups magically disappear into the table. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. The secret to this one is pure acetone. This is basically nail polish remover. You're gonna take a dish on the table, you wanna use a glass or metal dish, and you're just gonna fill the dish with the acetone just like this. The only other thing you'll need are some styrofoam cups. And as you slowly lower the styrofoam into the acetone, the acetone will begin to eat the styrofoam. Instantaneously, you can see it start to dissolve just like that, and it looks like the cup is just magically disappearing. And it's just the natural chemical reaction between between the styrofoam and the acetone. This Once one again. is really cool, and there's cold hard cash on the line. Chance to win a hundred bucks, all right? We have a okay. little napkin right here on the table. You can see? Yes. And the challenge is to get the napkin underwater without it getting wet. So that's the like, challenge. I was like, he's not gonna say that because that's impossible, and of course he did. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, you want me to show you? It's really simple. It's always simple. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take the napkin, fold it up. Folding it take different. This glass, little glass. Okay. Just gonna tuck it right there. Now check this out. Watch. No way! And just like that, the napkin underwater and feel that that's completely dry. I would have never gotten that. <laughs> I would have never gotten that. That was a good one. Here's the explanation to this quick rundown. You're gonna tuck the napkin into the top of a smaller shot glass. You're gonna turn it upside down. Now what's gonna happen is gonna trap the pocket of air that's inside the shot glass and it's going to allow us to submerge this in water. You can see that pocket of air is just trapped inside there. Now the napkin can be completely submerged underwater without getting wet. And then you can pull the napkin out and it is completely dry. Okay, cool card trick to show you. Do me a favor, open these up and pull out the cards to shuffle. Just Perfect. a couple yep. times. However much you want, actually. And then like do me a favor, cut them in half when you're done with your shuffle. Wherever you want, perfect. Uh, pick a pile, whichever one you want. This one. That one, okay, pick it up. And just go through and pick out a card, whatever card you want. Any card? Make it one that you like. Put it face down on the table right there. <laughs> got it, okay, perfect. Trade packets with me. Okay. You got your card locked in your mind, right? Yes. Okay, take your card and put it back in your packet, okay? Put it in there and mix it up as much as you want, okay? Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna put my card Don't in your look. packet and mix it up, okay? All right, now trade me back. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna see if I can find your card. I think 
I got it right there. Um, I want you to do the same thing. Just go through that packet and whatever card jumps out at you that you think that I picked, just put it face down right here. Whatever one. Yeah, okay. whichever one jumps out at you. Okay. Okay, right there? Okay, so um, it wouldn't be a big, since I do magic, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal <laughs> for me to find your nine of diamonds, right? <gasps> right? And the crazy thing would be if you picked out my king of hearts. The secret to this one is all in the cards. Hidden in the design of these cards is the number and suit of the card. You can see if you look really close right there, there's a little eight right there. And its position on the card tells me what suit it is. So I know that this is the eight of hearts. If you want to pick up a pack of these cards, they are truly one of the most amazing magic props that I have ever had my hands on. You can do so many tricks with this. It allows you to know what card your audience pick every single time. All you have to do is glance the back of the card. It's it's called the Boris Wild Deck. Been in my magic kit for years, and I have them available now at EvanEraTV.com. If you want to pick up a pack, I highly recommend you get your hands on some, and please do not use them to cheat at poker. Okay, this is the Balloon Pop Challenge, V. So I've got a bunch of balloons on the table here. Yes, I'm ready. Um, so the challenge is how many balloons you can pop within 10 seconds. Are you ready? 10 seconds? 10 seconds. You have the thumbtack in your hand. Yes. Push pin in your hand. I'm handing them to you. Pop them as quick as you can. Ready? Three, two, go one, go. Cup. All okay. you've got to do is keep track of this yeah, cup as I mess it up. So pay attention. Okay. All right. <clears throat> did you keep track of the cup? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. You think you know? Yes. Which one? No. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Nice. You won the five. <laughs> <laughs> but under. <laughs> Literally a little worse, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's the worst prank I think I've ever. Oh man, trying times, trying times. How is there a flower? It's so cold. <gasps> This is the secret to the trick. This is the magic squirting flower. You guys have seen me use this in a lot of different tricks. I have these available now at EvanAaronTV.com if you want to pick one up. You can like hide it in a bush like this or you can actually clip it to your shirt. And then all you do is squeeze a little bulb. You can see the little tube right there. It squirts it out the flower just like that. Okay, cool trick to show you with my little tray here. Okay. Uh, it's an uh, empty tray and yes. I also have two coins right here, two pennies. My two cents right there. That's right. <laughs> Nothing in either hand you can see. Oh, your hand for me, just like this. Okay. Perfect. Right there. Yeah. Uh, now watch the two coins in the tray if I just dump like that. I actually multiply. Whoa! <laughs> Make a change. Okay, here is the secret to the magic appearing coin tray. It's like the multiplying coin tray. You can do so many amazing tricks with this device. It's a little plastic tray like this, and on the bottom, it holds a really cool secret. Right here is a little slit, and you can hide coins inside this tray. So actually, I have one here that we've taken apart, and you can see how this works. Hidden inside, it's like a hidden compartment, and you can slide coins inside it. So now all the coins are hidden inside. You just wanna flip the tray over, and now you can put any number of coins on top that you want. 
And then all you want to do is make sure that the opening of the hidden compartment is placed right over their hands so that when you dump it out, those coins are going to fall right out of the little compartment and mix with the coins that you have on the tray, making it look like the money just magically multiplies. Super easy, super visual, and available now at EvaneraTV.com. I have a dollar bill here. So I'm gonna take the bill, and you can see there's nothing in your hand here. I'm just gonna fold the bill like this. Once here. Once there. See? And then one more time, I'm gonna fold it down. Just like that. So we got it in this little packet. Just like this, right? Mm -hmm. Now check this out. If I just kind of squeeze like this, it kind of looks like when I open the bill back up, it turns inside out just like that. Now the edges are on the inside, and the inside's on the outside. Hi, crazy. You want it? So all you need is the mismade bill, which we have available at EvanAraTV.com. There's a link in the description if you want to pick one up. And you also need a regular US dollar bill. So all this is is a simple switch. You just fold the bill up like this, and you're going to hold it on the back of the other bill just here in the corner. So you're going to show it from the front like this, and then you're going to fold this bill up the same way. Where you're going to kind of squeeze it like this and just flip it over. Then once you unfold the mismade bill, it looks like it is just turned inside out like this. And you can hand it out for examination, and what an amazing suit veneer to let your spectators keep. Okay, cool trick to show you with this deck of cards and I have this magic blue <laughs> scarf here. So on the back of the deck of cards, we have a $1 bill tucked in there just like that. You can see it, magic blue scarf. You can see nothing in the scarf and nothing in my hands. Check out the bill, watch closely. Okay. We just take the scarf and just wave over. It looks like this magic Whoa. simple explanation to this one. This is the secret right here. It's called the Bicycle Reveal Tuck Deck. It's super cool. It's got this uh, kind of plasticky box design and it's kind of translucent. You can see through it. So here's how you set this up. You start out with a hundred dollar bill folded up right down there in the pack. It comes with a double backed card like this. You're going to put that right behind and it also comes with this little gimmick right here. It's a little packet. Looks just like the back of the deck. So we put a one dollar bill folded up down in here and we take the four of hearts from the deck and put it like that so it looks just like the back of the deck. So now you're just going to hold this in place at the beginning of the trick like this. Call your audience's attention to the bill inside the deck right there. You then take your silk scarf and as you drag it across you're just going to grab the little packet and hide it behind the scarf to reveal the hundred inside the deck. It looks like it just magically changed inside the box and then hand this out for examination to the audience. It's a real hundred dollar bill and it will leave your audience absolutely astounded. All you need to pull this one off is a light bulb and a permanent marker. And this is as simple as illustrating the outside of the light bulb using the marker. You can do a really cool kind of intricate design on the outside of a light bulb. Then you can work into the design that you've put on the light bulb, the number and suit of someone's selected card. Then once you've illustrated your bulb, it's as simple as putting it in a lamp and turning on the light. The light from inside the bulb shines through the glass and the drawing on the glass to project the image of whatever you've drawn onto the wall. So practice forcing a card on someone. If you don't know how to force a card, you can obviously check out our video 10 ways to force a card to learn how to do it you can make your spectator pick the ace of clubs and then revealing their card is as simple as flipping the light switch So all you're gonna need to set this up are some glow sticks some tape and a ceiling fan obviously you want to activate the glow sticks first. So now that we've got all our glow sticks activated, we're going to tape them in place on the blades of the ceiling fan. Just like that, you create a magic glowing illusion on your fan. It's so cool. It's a really cool thing to do for parties. So as you can see, as the fan spins faster and faster, the glow sticks create this really cool illusion. They're almost like one solid ring of color. It's really weird looking on camera. It looks totally different in person. Here's an easy way to make your own giant marbles at home. 
check it out. First thing you need to set this up are some balloons and some food coloring. So you're just gonna put a couple drops of food coloring in each one of the balloons. Your next step is to fill all of the balloons with water. You wanna fill them all the way up and then you wanna put them outside on a cold day. It needs to be below freezing temperature and the balloons will harden into your giant colorful icy marbles. So as you can see, you peel the balloon away and you've got like a giant colored ice marble. Oh, the orange one looks awesome. It's not fully frozen. It really has to be super cold outside for this to work. And if you have a good snow, it'll keep its form a lot better because the balloon will kind of shape in the snow more. And if you really want them to be super clear, boil the water first. Blue one's super cool. So you could do a trick where you have a small marble grow into this giant one, or you can just make them and kind of play with them because they're really cool. And it's so fun to smash them. Watch the car. Wow. Here's what you need to pull off this cool illusion. You're going to need a mini deck of bicycle cards. We have these available at EvanerraTV.com in red and blue. It's going to need one card from the deck. And you're going to pair the mini card with a standard size bicycle card right there. You want to position them just like this with the mini card in the bottom corner of the standard card just like that. You're going to grab with your two fingers and thumb just like this and you're going to do a snap change. So you're just going to pull that middle finger back and it's going to move the larger card by behind the mini one. Credit for this trick goes to Felix Bowden. You can pull this off super easy. It's really just an amazing visual. So it's practice it a little bit and make it quick. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it as well. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the props from this video. All the magic is up for grabs in the giveaway. If you want to win, all you have to do is leave a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment in the comment section down below. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Send your email to this email address on the screen right here. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. The shop is right down there if you want to grab any of the merch from this week's episode. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.